thyroid nodules are extremely common. Up to 60 to 70 percent of the population have thyroid nodules. These can be problematic when they develop symptoms or cosmetic problems from bulging in the neck. Current treatment options include surgical removal of the nodule or really observation, which means doing nothing. There are new minimally invasive procedures that we can offer to patients to help them with their benign thyroid nodules. Hi, I'm Dr. Evans Heithouse, an interventional radiologist and a physician at UF Health and I currently perform thyroid nodule radiofrequency ablation. When a patient finds out they have a thyroid nodule, they often undergo a biopsy to determine whether the nodule is benign, i.e. not cancer. Once that's discovered that it's benign, patients are given the option to continue to watch the nodule or have it surgically removed. Having the nodule removed involves a procedure called a hemithyroidectomy where an incision is made across the neck and a portion of the thyroid gland is removed. Up to 25% of patients who have a hemithyroidectomy will require some form of thyroid hormone replacement in their lifetime. There's a new procedure that's minimally invasive and is called thyroid RFA or radiofrequency ablation. This involves me numbing the skin and inserting a small needle into the thyroid nodule. When I activate the needle, it heats the nodule and kills the nodule. This results in great outcomes where we can expect 80 to 90% volume reduction of the nodule over the three to six months following the procedure. The procedure is done on an outpatient basis. I bring you in the room, perform an ultrasound to identify the nodule, inject a little bit of numbing medication, and insert the needle into the thyroid nodule. Once I activate the needle, it heats the thyroid nodule, causing it to shrink. This is a minimally invasive procedure that doesn't require an overnight stay in the hospital, doesn't require general anesthesia, and it's meant for patients who either do not wish to undergo surgery or are not candidates for surgery due to their medical comorbidities. After the procedure, you can expect a Band-Aid over a small incision where the needle was inserted. You can go back to work the next day and expect to resume your normal life after that. I see patients back in clinic in three to six months for an ultrasound, at which time we see the progress of the nodule involution. One of the advantages of thyroid RFA over surgery is that if patients have multiple nodules or nodules in both sides of the thyroid gland, this can be treated with RFA as opposed to surgical resection. At UF Health, we continually strive to provide the most advanced, minimally invasive therapy for our patients.